Hey guys, and welcome to this video. We are going to work through the Night in the Wastelands challenge from the C-Sharp 12 expansion, um, which is focused on primary constructors, which is a new C-Sharp 12 feature. And it's actually kind of an interesting feature. I, I've been enjoying using it now that I now that it's been added. Um, anyway, let's go through this. So it says uh, e either use your arrow class from earlier in the book or start with the code below. Um, I've just got the code from the expansion in here. And um, I think this is a good starting point. Uh, you're totally welcome to use your own version if you still got it. Um, but yeah, so uh, let's just go ahead and get started. So the, the, ma the main goal here is to replace the the constructor this with a primary constructor um, and that is done by just putting um, the parameters for the primary constructor up here which is kind of convenient that uh, all basically it's all I could I actually just copy and paste it and now I just have to remove this um, that's step one but now I have to do something with these and I can just assign, I can use those parameters in my initializers for these properties that I've got. And that's literally it. I'll run this again to prove that it compiles and still does what it's supposed to do. You can see I still got my obsidian arrowhead, turkey feather fletching, 78 centimeters long which is what I had before. And you can see that like the main difference here is that I, I no longer had to have this constructor. Let me back up here really quick to compare once again. Um, this, this constructor that all it does is it just copies values from one thing to, you know, one thing to the next that I was able to simplify that by just putting it up here and doing this. And so I do hit this, class does have a constructor and I'm still using it here, but the code got shorter. And that is the main benefit of these primary constructors is when, when all you're doing is just, you know, initializing your, your object with specific things, this can be a convenient way to sort of condense the code. It does feel a little weird because now there's like this constructor that it exists, but it's kind of like, like if you're not, if you're not used to this, like it, it does take some getting used to because now it's like, there's this like weird constructor thing hanging out up here that's like attached to the class itself. And then like these variables are all accessible down in here. Of course, I don't, I could have done more than just um, assigning the values directly. Like I could have done length plus, you know, just add a little bit of buffer to it for whatever reason. I don't know why you do that, but it doesn't have to be limited to just copy the values over, but that is the main thing that you'll end up doing. Um, so as long as you can get away with that, as, as long as that's all you need, then this syntax is definitely shorter. Is that better? Well, that is the discussion that the answer to this question is trying to get you to think about. Um, so compare this finished code against your starting point, the primary constructor made it shorter, but, but do you feel it made the code more or less readable? Because short shortness doesn't mean more readable. You can write code that is shorter and is very difficult to read and you can write code that is longer and easier to read but sometimes shorter means less code that you have to wrap your mind around i think as you're getting used to the idea of primary constructors this is going to feel more complicated just because it's one more c-sharp language construct that you have to understand in order to know what this code does if you if you saw this code and had no clue about you know there's a thing called primary constructors this is gonna like feel really weird because it's not a feature you understand which was true you know for every feature you've learned in c-sharp if you if you don't know how properties work then this whole syntax thing looks a little weird um, if you don't know what an enumeration is, then, you know, this stuff and this stuff here is going to look a little weird. So anything that you do will look weird until you get used to the feature. The point of these challenges is to help you get that familiarity with the feature so that it's less, so that that isn't the bottleneck. Um, yeah, so my take on this to answer the question for myself, I, I'll start by saying this is an opinion-based thing. You know, do you feel, how do you feel about it? It's reasonable for 
you to come to a different conclusion than me. Uh, but my take is I actually really like this. I like that now I've got less code. And once I get a little more used to this, because I'm not totally used to it, I think I'm going to really, really like this feature just because of how much simpler it makes these things. And I'll also say that that syntax is exactly how records work and records came with this the, the moment records were introduced into the c sharp language they, they had a primary constructor so this is just kind of backporting that feature to classes um to any class now every class could have this if they wanted so in that sense we're actually creating a more consistent language everything can have a primary constructor so i like that simplification to the language even though it is i mean <laughs> This is one of the complaints people, new C Sharp people have about a number of things, but then especially like constructors and inheritance and properties. Like there's a few of these features that are like, there's so many ways you can do this. How do I even decide? Do I, you know, do I use a normal constructor? Do I have a parameterless constructor? Do I like, <laughs> how do I, how do I handle all this? And so it's, it is just one more, one more tool to use. You will never need to use it, and there will be times where you do need to use the other, you know, a, a formal written out constructor. So you're definitely not going to get away with only ever using this. There will be times that you need the classic formal constructor. And you could always, if you only learn one tool, learn that one, because that will always work. But um, this is definitely a nice uh, condensed version of this, and I, I really like it. So I'm looking forward to being able to use this on a whole lot of classes in the future. Uh, I think that's it for this challenge. So um, really not too hard other than just a new new bit of syntax you got to get used to. But that's the whole thing. Um, so we'll call it, call it a day here on this video. And I'll see you guys next time.